Hi, welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3 Death March difficulty. Witcher gear only. Uh, we are still doing the wandering in the dark mission with Kara Metz. Looking for the elven mage and Siri down here in some elven ruins. And we are about to come to a cutscene up here. The elven mage has left some clues for Siri to find him. They're like these holograms that are like uh, pre-recorded messages. And hey, we just got a level. Look, it's rather similar to that other pillar with the projection. So level five, that the next uh, square over there doesn't open up to level six. So we either got to uh, improve the Quen or the Poisoned Blades. So I think I'm going to improve the uh, Quen up to level two, which will make it a little bit stronger. And it'll also make my stamina regeneration quicker. So let's go ahead and do that. Cool, cool. Now let's uh, go over and uh, listen to this projection. Cyril, ni for the sol eser in Ainsila Kelpi. Kelpi? Does he mean that sea monster? No, that's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, <laughs> good name for a horse. So, shall we look for it? Gavella Glan. So there's a couple of uh, runes inscribed on the walls in here. There's two, both one to the left and one straight ahead of me. Which you all you really need to do is jump down into this big well in the center of the room, because the other two runes damage you with with flame. I wonder what all this means. They look hastily scribbled on with lime. And if you touch them both, you summon these two wraiths that look a lot like Geralt and and Care and Kira. And uh they come to kill you and you have to fight them. And you don't have to summon them, but I'm going to because I don't remember if they drop anything cool or not. So uh you gotta touch both of these runes. This is the dog one right here. And the first one you touch will will damage you. Dog. Can't see any connection to Kelpie. <laughs> quite a bit everything. quite a bit of your health goes away. And then when you touch the other Are one you, all right? you might say so. When you touch the other one, uh it will summon summon the race. So let's summon them and fight them. I don't think it matters which one you touch first. I think you're gonna take damage from uh the first one, no matter what, and the second one's always going to summon some of the wraiths. But I'm not absolutely sure, but I'm pretty sure. A sea monster. Looks a bit like a Karen. Garrett, what the hell is that? Another security measure. Damn it all. If you do summon them, I would totally suggest uh, taking out the wraith that looks like Kira Metz first because she has a ranged attack and uh, it's pretty powerful. And it's hard to uh, fight this other guy while she's uh, smoking you with lightning. He took quite a bit of my health away, so I just gotta let uh, Kira distract him for a little bit while I drink some water and. Uh, Heal, heal a little bit. Now I'll go in for the kill. Uh, 
Anything like that ever happened to you before? Well, almost. A while back, a certain Doppler took a shot at impersonating me. Yes? And? He hated being me. Felt uncomfortable. Dopplers are kind-hearted by nature. And unfortunately, they don't drop anything. Not the Dopplers, but the, uh, the Wraiths. So let's just jump right in the pool here and get on with this mission, I guess. It is utterly and completely dark in here, but don't forget to pick up the chest on the way by. Then you just uh, swim through a little tunnel and you come up on the other side here and uh, you just have to follow this up to uh, find another rune inscribed on the wall and just interact with it. Kelpie. Another horse. Almost exactly like the last one. Let's see what this does. Geralt, I don't know what you did, but it worked. Come back here. Look, they're opening. Let's go. Well, now I know what distorted my effort at teleportation. This very portal. And I know why I landed in that drowner nest. You should be pleased to emerge from the portal in one piece. And everyone still wonders why I hate to be teleported. We must try to activate it. I think that's a... swallow. Right, come. Sure it's safe. Of course. The Elven Mage prepared this passage for Ciri. Come on now. Gavella Glan. It's grown awfully quiet. Is that bad? A bit like the calm before a storm. Up in here we have a golem. We have to fight. So uh, make sure you use your Elementa oil. I think that's what they are. I don't have a bestiary entry for them yet. I have a bad feeling about this. TAL not recognized. <laughs> Golems are, have a lot of hit points and are pretty tough. Uh, I like to use the strong attack against them. Try to get behind them if possible. And do a nice strong attack. They have a they have an attack where they jump up and uh, right there. <clears throat> that will that will do damage to you. And also they have that attack. And also the the main attack that can kill you pretty quick is they do this charge and. Uh, they do right here. He does like three hits, and then sometimes when he gets to the end of his run there, he'll like fling his fist back and do a fourth hit if you try to get too close too soon. But that's a really dangerous attack. It will uh, kill you uh, if you don't have your Quen on and you're on Death March like, like I am. So anyway, I'm going to skip ahead to where I finish him off, and uh, here we go. Vela Glan. And that would be that. I knew we'd manage. That's so? Make sure I tell you beforehand next time. My intuition's a fine instrument, Witcher. Don't underestimate it. I've some very good feelings about you, for instance. In several domains. Alright, now we just gotta hop up here and uh, go on our way. Don't forget to loot this chest over here. Got the the golden oriole po uh, potion in here. Not the potion, but the uh, recipe. And cool, we got all the ingredients. So let's go ahead and mix that. Eventually, we'll we'll need that for it's for it's like an antitoxin potion. Once you finally find Siri, what will you do? Any plans? 
Depends what she wants. Imagined it. How it will transpire. What will she say? What will she look like? No. I'm sorry for getting ahead of myself. At times I forget. We hardly know each other. It's certainly not enough to discuss personal matters. Not to worry. We'll get there. I'm not sure how the chests really work in Witcher 3. If the same thing is in every chest, or if some of the loot is is uh, random or not. So, just because I find the golden Oriole recipe in that chest, I'm not sure if it means you will too, or if it means that way for everyone. So that tunnel I just peeked down, that's where we're going to be going, but there's also a place up here where there's more loot, and there's another fight, and I think it's a gargoyle. There's a little chest right here with some more stuff. Vampire oil and hybrid oil. Uh, the vampire oil, we, I think we can make them both right now. Yeah. Hi, you know, I don't really recall what hybrids are in this game. I'll have to check the bestiary uh, and entry and see what comes with a hybrid. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go in here and uh, fight this gargoyle. Uh oh. What? Got that feeling again? Gargoyles are kind of like golems where they're big and heavy and slow. They do throw rocks at you when you stand too far away. <clears throat> but I try to do the same thing. I try to attack them from behind and do the, the strong attack. So, uh, I think I'm just going to cut it, cut ahead to where uh, I finally defeat this thing. But they also have this weird attack where they like spit in your face. I think it's supposed to be poison, but for some reason he doesn't uh, he doesn't po poison me with that. Oh, nice. Kara Meds actually get the last shot on that one. Very nice. Look, they're opening. Let's go. Just a second, the we gotta loot this corpse. And also there's a chest up here with some stuff in it. Uh, bolts and a bunch of uh, crafting components. Alright, let's get on our way. Teleport over there. We must activate it quickly. I have a feeling another golem's about to surprise us. Another swallow. Look, it works! Come on! Look, we've managed to cross the bridge. This is where we saw the wild hunt. Great. Means they're way ahead of us. Come on. Gavella Glan. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, we should be able to wrap it up next episode. We just got a few more fights to do and uh, explore the rest of this these elven ruins. Wild hunt. Definitely. They destroyed the major sentries. They didn't come here for a friendly chat with the elf. Meaning you ever thought they might have? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.